It's 6.30 in the morning. Do you know where your teacher is? At school in the classroom making this video for you. Appreciate it. Today, we will be discussing chemical bonding as a little preloader uh, to get ready to talk about metabolism and really uh, so you can understand the importance of those enzymes. So let's get on into it. Uh, as always, 20 points participation is on the table. If you think you know what goes in the blank, raise those hands. Blanks have different ways acting based on the amount of blanks in their outermost electron blank. Blanks. Uh, these are the things on the, on the periodic table of blanks. Elements. Elements have different ways of acting based on the amount of blanks in their outermost electron blank. I wonder what is in the outermost electron blank. That's right, electrons. So, the elements have different ways of acting based on the amount of electrons in their outermost electron. What's that with the with spheres and the orbitals and they would go around outermost electron. Turtles have it on their back. Shell, yeah, outermost shell. They may also gain or lose blanks to become charged atom called a blank. They may gain or lose these things in the shell. Electrons. And again, or lose electrons to become a charged atom called a blank. Who remembers what a charged atom is? They can have positive blanks or negative blanks. That's right, ions, ions. So they can charge, uh, then they are called an ion. So if they gain an, a blank, almost said it. So if they gain an, yes, we're talking electrons this paragraph. If they gain an electron, the charge becomes... Negative. That's right, because electrons are negative. So if they gain an electron, they become negative. If they blank an electron, this would be the opposite of gaining an electron. So if they lose an electron, then they would become positive. Yes, they would become positive because electrons are negative. So if you take the negative away, then it's going to be positive. Blanks will interact with each other based on their outermost blanks. Who's going to interact with each other again? Oh, yes. Elements. Different elements will interact with each other based on their outermost. First sentence of the note. Electrons. An interaction between two or more elements is called a chemical blank. You saw a couple chemical blanks on Friday when we did the liver enzyme lab. Reaction. These reactions are all about blanking. Bonding, very good. When two or more atoms bond together, they will have made a blank molecule. When there are blank elements in that blank, we call it a blank. Your options are same or different. Different, different. When there are different elements in that, what we call the thing when they're bonded together, and then yes, molecules, we call it a Compound, chemical compound. Let's do a few examples. All right, there are blank types of bonds. Give me a number of the types of bonds. Three it is. There are three types of bonds. Blank bonds are the blankest. First ones I want to talk about. Hydrogen, yes, hydrogen bonds are the blankest. Weakest, strongest, mediumist. They're the weakest. In fact, it's not really a bond at all, but an interaction between blank molecules. Well, really, molecules that have blank in it. <clears throat> I wonder why it's called a hydrogen bond. <laughs> yeah, because it's got hydrogen uh, things in it. So hydrogen bonds are when two things with hydrogens sort of uh, are attracted to each other. Blanks bonds are next. Blank bonds are next. So you got hydrogen bonds. We're going in order of strength. Ionic bonds, yes, you have uh, ionic bonds are next. They occur when one blank takes a blank from another. When one, the periodic table of elements, when one element takes a, an, a blank from another, what are they taking to interact? That's right, they're taking electrons. So ionic bonds occur when one element takes an electron from another 
The, they are stronger than blank bonds. They're stronger than blank bonds. They're not really a bond bonds. The bond bonds, those are candy. Not a bond bond would be hydrogen bond. So your ionic bonds are stronger than hydrogen bonds. The third bond, covalent bond. Blanks are blanked, forming the blankest of the bonds. Who gets blanked? Electrons. Electrons are the covalent bond shared. Oh, it's romantic. Electrons are shared, forming the blankest of the bonds. The strongest, that's right, the strongest of the bonds. You have these electrons, uh, when they're shared, because sharing is caring, you make the strongest and most beautiful of the bonds, just like you learned in kindergarten. Mm. Mm. There can be a single electron shared, and that would be a single covalent bond. That's right, a single bond. If you're sharing two electrons, that's imaginatively called a double bond. Mm -hmm. And if you're sharing three electrons, that would be called a triple bond. Yes, a triple bond. And I've never heard of there being more than three electrons shared. Four, uh, I don't think it would actually work. I'll check with uh, Mrs. Hofferberth or Mr. Vernhoff since they're the chemistry experts, but I'm pretty sure uh, the electrons would repel each other too much to share that many. Or I don't know. Maybe there's whatever. Triple bond's the strongest one that I know of. They have more electrons shared, the stronger the bond becomes. Let's talk about biology for those who've been wondering what this has to possibly do with the life science. All life is made possible because of the element blank. This is the element other than hydrogen and oxygen that makes up the majority of you and every other living thing on the planet. That's right, it's carbon. Makes a thing of my favorite uh, Modest Mouse song. Usually, there are a few other elements attached with blank bond right there. Usually, there are a few other elements attached with blank bonds. What kind of bonds do you think things will make with carbon? One of the three. One of the three. Covalent. Yep, the sharing bonds. Carbon is a big sharer, which is why life is possible. Uh, these elements occur to form the blank blanks. The blank blanks. In the foldable. The four types of, yes, organic molecules. The other elements are the ones that make water. Yes, hydrogen and oxygen. And the ones that are in your proteins, those would be because amino acids, yes, nitrogen. And also there's a few others, I'll give you these. There's also sulfur, which is the stinky stuff, and phosphorus, which is in your nucleic acids, those phosphate groups that help connect the nucleic acids, uh, the different nucleotides together. And even, sometimes, many, many, many other, the most important element for life, carbons, even sometimes many, many, many other carbons. Carbon is so versatile because it has four blanks in its outermost blank, therefore it can form blank bonds. It has four what's in its outermost who? That's right, it's got four electrons in its outermost electronical shell. Yep, that's what they're called. And because it has four electrons hanging out there, it can share four, it can except for as sharing and so it can because it cares so much it can make four bonds thanks for watching everybody